Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 5th of 2021. Well, it is titled the dark seahorse in Cepheus. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the sky looking towards the constellation of Cepheus. Now that's one of the constellations that happens to be located in the plane of our Milky Way galaxy, meaning that we're going to see a lot of extra stars and nebulae and gas and dust there. And what we see here is sometimes known as a dark seahorse nebula and may sort of look like a seahorse stretching from the lower left up to the head on the upper right hand side. It's actually a dark dust cloud or a group of those where stars are currently forming. Now we can't see through the dust because it is too dense and it blocks out the visible light. So ordinary visible light no longer penetrates the dust. It is all absorbed. Meaning if we take an ordinary telescope and try to look there no matter how powerful it is, we're not going to see anything. However, if we use an infrared telescope, then we can actually peer into these. And that's because dust is very good at absorbing short wavelengths of light, but not as good at absorbing long wavelengths. So short wavelengths like ordinary visible light are very easily absorbed. But longer wavelengths like infrared and radio are able to penetrate through. So they are able to better penetrate through the dust. And we can see a little bit of that if you look around some of the regions there you can see areas in the middle of the seahorse where the stars appear very red. And that's not because the stars actually are a red stars. Although stars can appear in a red or blue color. It is because we are seeing them through some dust but not enough to block out their light. And that means it's blocking out more of the blue light and less of the red and therefore the stars are going to look redder in that region. Now overall when you look around the image you see a number of red and blue stars that is not telling you about dust but is telling you about their temperatures. Very hot stars emit more short wavelength light and will appear blue whereas very cool stars will emit longer wavelength light and will appear red. So just by looking around the image, you can get a rough idea of the temperatures of these stars by looking at their colors, the blue stars relatively hot, the red stars relatively cool. Of course, to get actual temperature measurements, you would need to make more detailed observations uh, of the actual emission of the star to be able to determine exactly their temperatures. But you can easily see which stars are hotter than other stars just by looking around our image. And in this case, looking around the dark seahorse in Cepheus. So that was our picture of the day for November 5th of 2021. It was titled The Dark Seahorse in Cepheus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.